And our first speaker tonight is Jonathan Reichenthal. Jonathan is the Chief Information Officer at O'Reilly. Um, he's been there since September. He's surviving the culture shock very well indeed. Because before his time at O'Reilly, Jonathan was the Director of Technology and Innovation at PricewaterhouseCoopers, which has, I think, 150,000 employees? Yeah, yeah. So come on up, Jonathan. Um, despite, or maybe because of the fancy titles, uh, Jonathan is also a geek and an early adopter, and he's going to talk to us today about mind-blowing, world-changing technology by the numbers. Thank you. I'm the first, so we go ahead. So I love technology, I have a real passion for it ever since I was a child. Uh, and if you're in technology, this is the golden age of technology. Essentially, this is a time when it's having real impact on people uh, around the world. So what I'd like to do today is talk to you about mind-blowing, world-changing technology by the number. Um, so if you indulge me for five minutes, I'm going to give you some facts and figures. And if you hear something really interesting, go wow or ooh. So let's start with some basic stuff, right? Last year, we sent out 107 trillion emails. Wow. About 89% of that were Viagra ads from Canada, right? <laughs> there are 255 million websites in the world. And, wow. yeah, and we, we create 21 million every single year. It's a lot of websites. And we like to blog. We're doing a lot of blogging. People are talking about all sorts of subjects. In fact, we're talking about um, the next number, which is coming up. 152 million blogs are active today. A lot of stuff. 50,000 blogs get created every single day. And Lady Gaga has 8 million followers on Twitter, which is really profound. So it's, it's really about really big numbers. So let's have a look at the next thing that comes up. So what we see also is that there's a greater adoption, much faster speed of adoption. To get 50 million users, it took the radio 38 years. For, for the uh, TV, it was 13 years. And for the internet, four years. So the rate of adoption for these users is, is growing very, very rapidly. And if you look at something like the iPod, for example, it, was, uh, it, it sold 120 million units in two years. And the iPad, in fact, sold 1 million units in just a few days. So we're adopting te technology at a much uh, faster rate. These are just big numbers, fast rate, and, and it's just profound what's happening. If you look at these, the companies are big, they're huge, they're profound. You add up the, the, the market capitalization of these five companies, you get $1 trillion. That's, there's only 14 countries in the world that have a GDP that's more than one trillion. There's 190 countries that are less than that. So imagine that, five tech companies with a trillion dollars. Massive amount of money, massive amount of influence. If Facebook was a country, it'd be the third largest country in the world. It has 650 million users. And this August, uh, later this year, we think it's gonna have about a billion users. So we're connecting people in whole new ways, brand new ways, and it's, it's profoundly changing the world. It includes how people game. So people are gaming on top of Facebook and on top of social networks. This game here, Farmville, uh, it has 60 million users every single day. Who, who plays Farmville here? It has several people over here. Okay, so big numbers, completely changing the way we game. <laughs> I've never played this. Um, uh, and we're tweeting, we're talking about a lot of stuff. Last year we tweeted 25 billion messages by 150 million people. Lots of people talking and nobody's listening. But I, I think it's very interesting to watch. It's profoundly different, it, the way we're communicating. Twitter's really important. And we're creating massive amounts of data. This next slide shows the Hadron Collider in Geneva. It's firing particles, particles around a 16-mile track. They're colliding into each other and creating 40 terabytes, 40 terabytes of information per second. You know how big 40 terabytes is? That's 40, that's a lot, that's a lot. It's, thank you. 40 trillion bits of information, and that's 40. That's a, that's a number with uh, that, that many zeros, uh, 12 zeros. It's an awful lot of information. It's so much information, there isn't a computer system that exists to capture that amount of information. That's every second, right? So that's, that's really profound. Where, does it, where is it all going? We're going into uh, cell phones and mobile phones. That's the future of technology. People love mobile phones more than any of, actually, it's the most thing that anyone's ever had. There are five billion people with mobile phones. That's 62% of the world. 
has a lot of cell phones. Compare that with two billion computers. So people have adopted cell phones at a much greater rate than uh, computers. And what are they doing? They're texting, they're sexting, they're downloading um, uh, iPhone apps. Um, in fact, we're doing so much that the traffic on the uh, cell phone um, you know, communications will grow 27 fold by 2015. That's a lot of texting, a lot of things we're, we're doing on the cell phone. But it's more than that. Cell phones are actually empowering people. This is in Egypt, in House Square, in the last few days. These, uh, these people are powering phones, and the phones are empowering them. It's giving them new abilities to communicate, collaborate, do things they couldn't do before. So it's a real force, this, this, this uh, telecommunications phenomenon. What else have we got going on here? We got some uh, political stuff. So social media and new technologies are really changing the, the platform for, for, uh, for, for the uh, politics. This gentleman here, he's our first, imagine that, technology made our first Hawaiian president. The 50th straight the state developed our, our first Hawaiian president. We're very, very proud of that. Um, but technology is, is giving uh, children and people all over the world and every continent opportunity. It's bringing people out of poverty, empowering them. Um, it's, it's narrowing the digital divide, and it's doing really, really great things. Um, here you see uh, kids using the one PC per child. Two million of those were distributed to empower kids. And, and um, technology is used everywhere. It's really redefining humanity, if you think about it. Every, the, so cell phones and telecommunications and, e and, and commerce has been supported and, and, and people have been empowered simply by the very power and than the, than the pervasive use of technology. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm very excited about the future. This is now, imagine five years, 10 years from now, it's crazy. Well, if you, <laughs> if you wanna follow, if you're interested in this stuff, you wanna know more about it, I tweet about it every day appropriately. And so um, you'll see my uh, Twitter handle here in a second. And uh, this isn't as hard as it seems, so thank you very much for the opportunity. And I'll see you very soon. <laughs>